Good afternoon, world. Yes, it's something very interesting has just happened. Uh, it really surprised me. Did it? Yeah. Try it? Sure. Oh, okay. I was stunned. Stunned. And it takes a lot to stun me. It does. I've been married before. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, I've been communicating, as you know, uh, to the uh, Holy See in the Vatican. And uh, over a period of time, we've become good friends. This is the Pope and I. Three days. Well, we can move quickly through. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, His Holiness uh, has asked me a lot of questions that, um, uh, for example, Vatican II, which is uh, a complete Jewish plot mm. to uh, allow Jews to get into the, the Vatican and the recognition of Jews. And even they sent him a hat with a, a, a David on it. Star David. And uh, he's such a nice man, he, he never even thought about it and put it on his head and uh, they took photographs of him, you see. But he's got the Star of David on his head. And uh, he's such a fine gentleman, an innocent soul. Innocent. Um, a lamb. He's a lamb to the slaughter, really. He's been put in this position and... Hmm. So here he is, a man that has uh, fought valiantly to rid the Vatican, as he said, of his filth. Uh, he doesn't take any nonsense in the sense that uh, he uh, says, what has Muhammad done? to mm. push the uh, religion of Muhammad with the sword. Mm. Uh, no sword. love in it. That's right. And uh, he also reinstated as Pope the uh, three or four men that were... Uh, excommunicated. Excommunicated. What were Why? they, cardinals? Uh, ye bishops. Bishops? Bishops. Uh, actually... Um, anyway, uh, a very high position in the Vatican. And uh, they were kicked out because they said there's no evidence for the Holocaust. So and uh, of course, the uh, uh, that one have like a lead balloon with everyone else uh, because they are all part of this Jewish uh, Freemason infiltration. Infiltration. Now, if you go back to John Paul the first, he's a man that uh, only lasted a, less than a month as Pope. Mm -hmm. He was an extremely fit man. He jogged every day. He was young, mm -hmm. and uh, his physician said he had a heart like a bull, mm -hmm. and yet um, he discovered what was going on in the Vatican Bank, mm -hmm. laundering uh, CIA money. Mm -hmm. And uh, also uh, the mention of 100 Freemasons, bishops surrounding him. In the, mm -hmm. Now, he, he, uh, his apartment was above the Vatican Bank. So mm -hmm. the night he died, um, his uh, valet or secretary, they brought him in a glass of milk or something like that. Mm -hmm. And he was sitting on the bed, in, up in the bed. And um, apparently the documents he was reading was going to be presented uh, the next day to uh, other cardinals. And uh, it was concerning the revelation of what the bank was mm -hmm. been up to. Yeah. And that there was a uh, hundred or so uh, Freemasons, bishops, in the Vatican. Mm -hmm. So the next thing he's done, mm -hmm. they killed him. Though naturally no one's ever been found for it because the killers come from within the Vatican. Now this is what surrounds and getting worse. Mm. Uh, our present beloved Pope, Benedict the 16th. And uh, we look at Revelation and in Revelation 17, 11, uh, it mentions uh, eight popes. Seven will have been, then the eighth will be of the seven. In other words, mm -hmm. as there are all others are dead, mm -hmm. and the only one left is Pope Benedict, when I, him and I become friends, as I say in Australia, become mates, mm -hmm. uh, I said to him, you're it. Uh, he said, oh, I can't become Pope again because uh, the rules of the conclave and all this, whatever nonsense they get up to. Well, he said that he had already sworn allegiance to the next Pope, and which I wrote and said, well, well how can you do that when you don't know who he is? <laughs> well, who are you going to swear your allegiance to, Pope, a man or God? <laughs> well, that's right. 
So this was done beforehand, before I come on the scene. See, now I'm just telling yes. him what, what who I am, and because he believes it. For the and, last three uh, days, it's been constant communication. As he's staying up all the night. His, his uh, staff in his uh, oh, lovely, lovely in his office oh, or apartment. Uh, the young fellow there. Um, he set Father up his Giuseppe. computer and Father Giuseppe. Father Giuseppe. And then uh, the Archbishop man. George. Mm -hmm. Archbishop George. He's a man of about fifty-six. I call oh, him yeah. Gorgeous George. Uh, Archbishop George, you're just a few days older than myself. Yeah. Don't do it. Well, Don't you know? The Pope is much older than me, yeah. 16 <laughs> years, so that's not good. No. Sweet 16. Yeah. So, uh, with the, um, the things that I've been sending to him, or we've been sending to him, um, we put a bit of, some of my stories um, are so humorous that they, you know, it's all angelic. Though. And the angel, angel had this terrible sense of humour and all the part of it. <laughs> and uh, I, I just wrote a few of these stories to him and he uh, responded that he liked them and uh, tell me more. <laughs> because I've been sending him two or three, four a day of these strange things that happened in my life and that they are absolutely hilarious. Mm -hmm. But every second of it is true. So the last one I sent over. Um, he was going to go to sleep because either he's been up all night or. Of course he has done. He's been up all night. He watches all, all our stuff. He's up all night because right? he's got all his equipment that's during the day and he stays up all night watching the YouTubes that his staff finds for him. And, um, and the ones I've been posting. And the ones that we've been posting. The, that, that takes a lot of time. See? So um, in the last communication, just before he went to sleep, he said. Uh, uh, to go and have a look at, at the, the Facebook page Facebook that Father page. Giuseppe opened for me. Go and have a look, Mr. Marshall. Good night. I was going to bed. So. I think you'll like it for some reason. Yes. Well, I think you'll recognise it. Yes, we're exactly. He says, uh, yes, this was at um, well, up the top here, 121. That amazing. You yeah. always have the best, best stories, stories to tell. To tell. If you go onto the page Father Giuseppe created for me on Facebook, you will notice something familiar. Go and see, Mr. Marshall. Now, it took both of us an hour because Brian's still writing to the Holy Father, more stories. This was, by the way, after outlining Vatican III. Yeah, well, see, he asked me to look at Vatican II <laughs> and um, to see what my thoughts were on it. Well, I just tore it to bits, of course, because it's all Jewish, right? It's mm. a talent all over it. Mm. And uh, what they're basically doing, for those who don't know, the Vatican I uh, and Vatican II is two vastly different things. Mm -hmm. And uh, I instantly saw the Talmud involved. Oh, there. yeah, the infiltration. And uh, Forgive them, Father, they know not what they're mm -hmm. doing wrong. Well, I, yeah, well, I won't be forgiving them, and they know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I did a review mm -hmm. and rewrote uh, the points. What was it, 40-odd points? 49. Of that significance, seven times seven, and of course, fifty yeah, years yeah, jubilee. Well, that wasn't put on the paper, either. <laughs> anyway, well, I just that. got it off my chest. I thought this has to be said, and of course, um, when he replies to that, um, we got the reply. You want me to bring it up, or is this all done? No, that's something different. Yeah, I'll bring it up on the, on the uh, screen here and read it out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, exhausted. A long and winding road. Yeah, you've lost it. Uh, can we? There you go. I want you to grasp what we're telling you here. This is the Pope, the most powerful man on earth. Yes. The man who has, in uh, 
scripture being nominated to uh, destroy the present system in Rome. And all he's got to do, and he's done it publicly, is recognize me as Christ. The one at 10, 18, that one? Yeah. So this is a reply to the Vatican III that I sent to him. Thank you for sending me this. Thank you for sending this to me. This will be my reference for my for any problems, problems according to the occurring in the church. Oh, sorry, you were <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Thank you for sending this to me. This will be my reference for any problems occurring in the church. Your answers make absolute sense, and I thank you for answering my question. So that was that. Um, I said to him, I have looked at Vatican II and based on my observations, the following is my thoughts. I understand the efforts and many minds involved, so I will keep it simple. Uh, the reorganised church must reflect my intentions and is not an election. With two spelling mistakes. <laughs> You're getting comfortable with where you're with the spelling mistakes. Anyway, the Bible. I don't want to show. You know what? That's your spelling mistakes. Is that mine? Yes, that's your spelling mistakes, babe. <laughs> oh, it's good to know that. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, anyway, the bottom line is that uh, we got this marvelous result to go and look at the Facebook page that Father Giuseppe opened as a tribute to the Holy Father. And when we got there, of course, uh, it was one? very familiar because it is. He has uploaded as his um, cover. cover photo Yahweh, Brian Lenegar, Lightly Marshall, the face in the shroud of Turin. That you marvelous one. Uh, I, I can do the editing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jo, jo, jo will edit this and put it up. But it's uh, that one that was screen captured from the overlay that was done, what, three, four years ago now by our friend in the USA, mm. Shakespeare, <laughs> who, uh, yeah, did that marvellous work. And so it was a screen capture from that all, all the one taken off one of our pages. So uh, needless to say, this is, this is the battle. The battle has been won. And he has become, he is the elect. Mm. He is the elect. And Yah said it was worth the battle all this time. Round one and round two, if you like, for him. He is the elect. He is. He has uh, been portrayed um, by others who don't know him at all. By oh well, I would say it's all Zionist backed, and the uh, churches of the Western world, the Christian churches in the United States of America and the Western world, they are all of the whore of the Revelation. The whore is the Church of England, and all of the churches that come out of it, all 36,000 different Christian denominations. The Catholic Church has always remained one universal and united church until the schism that of, uh, from created by Vatican II through infiltration by the Jews who call themselves Jews and are, not, are, are in fact the sons of Cain, they are of their father, the devil. So the Christ uh, takes up his position. That is the church that he has come back for over the uh, millennia millions of uh, faithful and true the saints have given their lives all for the truth of the lord jesus christ in the flesh crucified risen again to return again not on a floating cloud <laughs> but the man the most royal man so it's a day of absolute breakthrough this is the end of the beast the recognition uh it will be up to the Holy Father, what arrangements are made from here on. The announcement will go out. And this is the end. So everything else that's been going on with the uh, OPPT and the, that ICCL thing by the... Uh, it's all smoke screen. It's all on smoke screen to distract everybody. This is the big news. And uh, uh, the United Kingdom was handed over to Rome 12-13 on May the 15th by John the 1st. So this knocks the whore... Uh, on the head as well and the kingdom of god comes to the earth the holy city is the vatican city it will be cleaned out absolutely however as yahweh said from the beginning it's all about letting the enemy build the infrastructure build it all 
and then it's a takeover. So for the heart of the child of the Holy Father, you should all keep him in your prayers and his household, a marvelous household. These are the righteous and the elect. These are the saints, as well as the few of you out there <laughs> who have been fighting the fight. I would say to you, Sherry, darling, you don't have to fight anymore, hun. Don't, no, nothing more. Just, just love the Holy Father and uh, we will all bow to him because um, he is the one who has brought it home for all mankind. Andrea, hun, you're, you're a heroine in this story. All of you are. You've all done such marvellous. And of course, Joel, <laughs> I'm a photographer. All of you have done your decks there in England, and, and Susan and Shana, all of you, and of course Karen here, who's been okay. um, hi, Oh, hey, look, honey, I told you yesterday, you, you're going, you're, you're famous already. You're, you're going to be it. There's a Pope sitting up in bed <laughs> listening to him. Hi, okay. soon, huh? Mr. and Mrs. Marshall will be <laughs> in this for long. And, and it's right. our, it's our all-time favourite. You don't, so all the saints relax. Don't let anything bother you. Just uh, know that in the days coming ahead, that fire has been lit that will consume the earth, burn off all the dross, and also the uh, tsunami is a spiritual tsunami that will uh, cleanse the earth, wash over all of the earth. Then we can get on with the, the business of uh, <sighs> taking care of the sick, the starving, the homeless, those that are suffering at the hands of the beast. What, what we've uh, put into the... Uh Vatican III was that all churches, convents, uh, anything that's owned and operated by the, the church will be a uh, healing centre mm. and um, within uh, a very, very short period of time, the costs for healing a, an entire area mm. is uh, only a few dollars mm. and uh, people who will be uh, going to the uh, churches to be healed, surely will throw their allegiance whether they be Protestants or anything else. Mm. If you're dying of something, your church is not fixing you, you've got a church across the street that hated Catholics, and you go in there and get healed, mm. then it's got to tell them something. And, and, mm. and uh, they will be, uh, of course, becoming members of the church. Now, I don't really give a shit about that. What I'm concerned about is they're going to be donating money, putting on the plate, and I'll have 10%. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I was going to say, uh, of course, that the revelation is all about coming out of the whore, so that's out of the Protestant Did I say churches. That I was thinking. <laughs> now, I, I, I just want to read, um, uh, Joel, can you drop that down so I can go over to uh, the Holy Father's face, Facebook page, see up there, click where it says Adam. Up here. Click there and then uh, go to Messages. That, sorry, the that message is in the middle beside Do you want to go to his page? Yeah, go to his page. I'll just go to yours. You've got a link there. Oh, yeah, yeah. There it is. There it is. I just go to his page to read. Uh... <sighs> what a day this is. It's been three days and three nights. <laughs> and the message was really very simple. Um, Which one? That one there, just the, with the face. He says, Brian, go lightly, Marshall. The Holy Father has, has now met him through email with that marvellous superimposed shroud of Turin over the one whose image that it is. And um, so the saints have been leaving messages. Leave messages of thanks, saints. There's no more preaching or teaching. <laughs> it's all done and dusted. Just messages of thanksgiving to the Holy Father. He really did humble himself as a small child. Because as you know, unless you do, you'll not see nor enter the kingdom of God. So, it's, um, this is a very great day. And the culmination, all history has been leading down to this day. And from here we go forward. It will move we, uh, We've been uploading various things like we're curing people in, and, uh, in BG or New Guinea. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, the father said, I won't be able to go on long trips to Australia. Look, I didn't ask him to come. <laughs> he said, "How can I get to Australia? I'm not." And uh, he said, uh, "You know, I've got 
all the bones are aching with arthritis and he's had a broken wrist, he's this, that and so forth. And so I thought, well, I'll, he said, do you do miracles? I said, yeah, no worries. <laughs> and uh, I said, I'll leave you. So uh, within a very, very short space of time, him and his entire staff are doing the protocol yes. using the bicarbonate of soda and, and everything else we've been suggesting. Yeah. And um, so uh, he's already um, out running around talking to bishops and uh, well, doing the rosary. The rosary. They have the rosary a walk where they go around and do the rosary, which is quite a long way. It's about seven and a half miles. <laughs> we'll be with you when you say walking that rosary. There. That's walking. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a little bit on the mend. And I've got all their appetites back. And their appetites, appetites are all back. Well, this is John Hall, yes. Oh, yeah, John, John Hall, that's right. John oh, Hall. right. Uh, John yeah, Hall. John Hall and his uncle. Now, this is an interesting story because <laughs> John, a very, very clever man, um, yes. and some of his achievements he's done in his short life. He's only 48 years old, 49. And uh, he does everything expertly, precision. So he's setting up this uh, hydroponics ponics, uh, growing in Barbados. <laughs> Bahamas Bay. Mm -hmm. And we did an upload on this the last Bahamas, week. Yes, it? yes, Bahamas Bay. <laughs> What's he got to do? <laughs> We've already uploaded this, babe. Shall we let me just move forward and give you an update with John? He left a message this That's morning. That's what I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> left a message this morning that his uncle started on the MMS to the capsule. And of course, you know, his uncle has been the one with Alzheimer's that is reversing. And uh, the first capsule uh, kind of started to dissolve a little bit in his throat, so his covering spotting <laughs> because you know it's pretty gross, and that's why I warn everybody. But washing it down with lots and lots of water. They're actually on day three, all of them, his brother included, who I believe has AIDS, and uh, had 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 AIDS, and they all have their appetites. They're eating healthily, and so course of seven days. Two, twice a day. So anyway, it's all marvellous news. So John, you <laughs> upstage the Pope once again <laughs> with, with, with what you're doing with your uncle, but that's what it's all about. And the Pope. So he's a man who uh, couldn't get out of bed and uh, had Alzheimer's and then yeah. suddenly couldn't talk. John's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next thing his brother comes in and the uh, old man had got up, walked out, and he was having a conversation with John. Yes. Within days, his, the Alzheimer's is reversing. Yes, it's marvellous. He's got his strength back. Yeah. So the Saints know all this fake. We covered that. I've covered that very thoroughly. That's the one where we put the Pope on hold on Sunday, remember? <laughs> so, you know, moving right along now because we really just, I know, it's all about the Holy Father. We, we'll, we'll keep you. So we just just rejoice. The world rejoice. Tell the world. And, so um, the Jews are finished. The Jews. Tell the Palestinians we're becoming Christian. Oh, Palestine. Oh, my God. Oh. Maybe this still will give the, uh, the Russians and the uh, Iranians a bit of a nudge to yes, a nut, men yeah. take over the joint. Absolutely. So Don't well, worry about nuclear weapons, they can't go off. No, we've crossed over, they can't do their nukes, it's all, it's all hype. So uh, go and spread the good news, it's, uh, the beast is slayed. Now, now, the Catholic Church at one stage there was, um, no matter who you talk to, there was a very anti any other church. And um, to a certain extent, there is a merit to that. However, uh, you've got the Orthodox Church and you've got all the Russians are Orthodox mm. Christians. Mm. And uh, my bottom line is, you love Jesus, you're in. Mm. And all the world becomes Catholic because that's all the church. All becomes Catholic. Which is what can it's universal. That's what it means. Catholic is just universal. So, uh, so you don't have to go through the, yeah. the whole uh, rigmarole of the Catholic Church. I mean, you've got to adapt that to your own environment mm. and uh, to elevate your your mm. uh, bishops and so forth to adopt the same Vatican Three that I've written. Yes, it's all good. It's all very, very good and well, inclusive. Stop like all of the weapons of warfare will become plowshares. So with that, we say, okay. talk to you later again. Love you all. Thank you again. And 
send lots of blessings to the pontifical household at Castel Gandolfo, the Holy Father, Father Giuseppe, and Archbishop George. George, and Sister Maria Della Rosa. <laughs> Lovely name. Yes, it's glorious. It rolls just rolls off, off the, the tongue. tongue. <laughs> rolls off the tongue. Looking forward to some gelato. That was Adam's dream. It was ice cream. Ice cream. All right, good night, guys. Love What's you all. Like Adam Stephen ends in Rome. Oh. <laughs> well, look at an ice cream. Do you like that?